Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk about how to use gradient maps on the iPad Pro using RStudio Pro. Gradient maps can be used in most software that use correction layers. They are a way to simply color an image by applying chosen colors mapped to a certain value on the layer below. For example, right here we have two gradients that range from white to black. On the second one, I'll apply a gradient map to recolorize it. As you can see on this gradient, the black and white points are the same, but the values of gray in between are mapped to colors, some white hi warm highlights and cool shadows. We can play a bit with the sliders and see how the corresponding value responds to its new color. On this image I created in a 3D software, I'll use this technique to quickly color it as a background for my comic. It instantly adds some move to the image and acts as a good base layer that we can expand later on to add some details on the image. Another use could be to selectively color different parts of an image while keeping the color consistent. For example, here I painted some characters with values of gray, but some of you may know it's hard to add color back with just a layer on color blending mode. The values keep interfering and we end up with muddy colors if we don't know exactly what value a specific color should have. That's where the gradient maps comes in for me. Since you bypass the original value to apply the selected color, you can just apply the gradient map to a specific area with a layer mask. In this instance, I'll mask the layer to apply the gradient only on the skin. As you can see when looking at the gradient, it doesn't contain any black or white point, and I made it specifically for this illustration. You could for example color your whole comic in only grey colors that you keep on a separate palette to be consistent, and create different gradient maps for however many skin tones you'd want, and have them always consistent while painting only with the same grey values. This tip could be applied to any kind of reoccurring colors in your panels, to make the coloring work much quicker. Like in this image, it could be also applied to the jeans, like this. And the last tip I use a lot is to paint back above the gradient map by using it only as some kind of mood setter or good starting point. For example, in this image sketched with values of gray, I can apply a gradient map to set a global tone to the image. But maybe I want to add back some light or contrasting colors to make some details pop out, like these little lights. So this is how I use green maps to fluidify my workflow while drawing comics efficiently. Or sometimes on individual image to add a general consistency to the image because, well, I'm a terrible painter, actually. On iPad, you can use these in Art Studio Pro and Clip Studio, as well as Affinity Photo, but I don't use the last one to draw. As the making of this video, Procreate 5 does not support this kind of correction layer, but who knows, it might come out one day. And lastly, remember that since these are correction layers, you can also combine them with blending modes to have a different result. You could, for example, set it in color mode if you do not want to bypass the values of an image underneath, or in any other layer mode, like overlay or dim light, they work good. This was my first time recording my voice, and since English is not my native language, I had quite a hard time finding my words. If you have any tips to improve my clarity, please tell me in the comments. Bye, and keep creating!